Hello and welcome to Let Them Talk, the channel that goes deeper into everything about the English language. And today we are proud to announce a new series of lessons called Two Minute Grammar. And it's called Two Minute Grammar because it's a grammar lesson and it lasts for two minutes. Yes, that's right. For those of you who are far too busy to watch our eight, nine, ten minute videos, can just watch our two minute videos, thereby saving yourself about six minutes of your valuable time, which I'm sure you'll spend wisely. Anyway, with these shorter videos, we are going to get straight to the point. We won't ramble on about irrelevant information that you don't need to know, like what I had for breakfast, my opinion on North Korea, the best way to peel a banana, and my holidays in Mallorca. I didn't go to Mallorca, by the way. That was just an example. Actually, I went to the Costa del Sol, and it was really nice. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, yeah, so with these shorter videos, we won't waste your time. We'll get straight to the point. And at the end of them, I promise you, I promise you, you'll say to yourself, wow, I never knew that. And if you don't, we'll give you your money back. But of course you didn't pay any money, so. Anyway, without further ado, here is the very first two minute grammar. And it's the difference between stop to do and stop doing. Two minute grammar. Hooray! So, let me ask you a question. Is this sentence correct? A few years ago, I stopped to smoke because it was bad for my health. A few years ago, I stopped to smoke because it was bad for my health. No, it isn't. The correct sentence is, a few years ago, I stopped smoking because it was bad for my health. In English, we use stop plus verb plus ing to mean to cease, to quit, to end something. Let's look at some more examples. Last year, I became a vegetarian and I stopped eating meat. I stopped eating meat. Okay. When Boris entered the room, everyone stopped talking. And when we use stop plus verb plus ing, we are talking about one action, okay? I stopped smoking is one action. I stopped eating, again, that's one action, okay? So what about stop plus infinitive? This simply means in order to, okay? Also, when you use stop plus infinitive, it's two actions, okay? Let's look at some examples. I was working for an hour and then I stopped to smoke a cigarette. You could also say I stopped in order to smoke a cigarette. Okay, same meaning. It's two actions. Action one is to stop. Action two is to smoke a cigarette. Another example. On the way home, we stopped to get some ice cream. Again, it's two actions here. We stop and then we get some ice cream. I saw Nicola in the park and I stopped to talk to her about Brexit, okay? So that's it. Pretty simple, huh? And that was about two minutes. So uh, if you like that format, you can let me know in the comments. If not, well, too bad. And thank you for watching and stay mellow and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.